Hey guys, and welcome to the National Girl and Women's in Sports Day celebration. I'm Courtney England. I'm an assistant basketball coach for the UMaine women's basketball team. And these are some of our players, and we're just going to have a conversation with you about being women in sports. And I think it's it's a cool day to have this conversation coming on the back of the Super Bowl and um, two female assistant coaches being the first females to ever win a Super Bowl and also the first female um, referee in a, in a Super Bowl game this past Sunday. So it's a really cool day to be talking about women in sports with you guys. And um, I'm happy to have you guys here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Well, let, let's start it off by like um, just talking about each of your earliest memories of playing sports. Blanc, do you want to start us off? Yeah, I can start. Um, I grew up in a family with a lot of basketball. Uh, but my school didn't have like many teams. So my first memories are definitely uh, just playing in my school with a bunch of uh, boys, you know, my grade or a grade older. Um, and then from there, it just kept getting better and I started playing with girls. But for sure, the first memories are just like myself, the only girl surrounded by a lot of guys. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Dor? Did you have the same experience or were you always playing? Um, so yeah, something similar. The thing with me, like the, I remember the first time like I touched like a basketball. I think it was like, I was like five or six years old. Mm -hmm. um, it was in my grandparents' town. Like they have this small town. And I remember I went to the gym with, um, with my father and my brother. And then I remember we just like found this ball and, and like there was like this small hoop. So I was just like, you know, going there, just shooting some shots and stuff. Um, but it was nice. It felt like so natural and it was so nice. Yeah. How about over there, Maeve and Kelly? What, do you, what are you guys' first memories of playing any sport? Um, my first memory with basketball, at least, is I was always looking up to my brother who was always working out with my dad and I would kind of join in on them and then go to his games and then I would start shooting around outside and then I went to my first tryouts in third grade for um, a Metro West League, but it was really with my family outside playing and shooting a lot. Nice. Yeah, mine was kind of, in terms of basketball, mine was kind of the same. It was just, like, playing um, basketball with, like, my brothers and, like, their friends and my dad in the driveway. But my earliest memory of playing sports was playing, like, the little rec league of soccer. And um, it would be, like, really hot days, and you'd get, like, orange slices at halftime. <laughs> Those were my earliest memories of just sports in general. Those are always the best days. I that's my one of my fondest memories as a kid is playing soccer and the snacks they gave you at halftime. You don't ever get <laughs> snacks at halftime in other sports. I don't understand. It's it seems necessary. Yeah. <laughs> it seems necessary, and like everyone that plays soccer when you're a little kid, like they just follow the ball around. So it's just like a pack of kids, just like. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Fani? Well, um, I actually started playing soccer too. So when I was really young and then like we, I don't have any basketball in my family at all. So it was actually like a few of my teammates in my soccer team that were playing basketball as well. So they brought me to a practice one day and I just like instantly fell in love with it. So then I kept playing both sports until uh, I was about to start high school when I uh, picked basketball. Oh, okay. Wow, soccer. Soccer, soccer, soccer. Well, what about you guys? So, like, what I know some of you said your inspiration was playing with your brothers or or seeing other people play sport. But do any of you have any like real big inspirations about why you started to play? Just any sport. I mean, I started because of my uh, my grandpa. He was a huge basketball player back home. He played for the like the biggest club um, at the time, and he was like a really good player. So. Uh, my dad played a little bit, but it was uh, mainly because of my grandpa, and he was like a great player, so I was like, I should try it out. Very interesting. Anyone yeah. else? It was really my dad that got us into it, and since my brother was already started, that was kind of my motivation, and then I really liked it, so it kind of became a family thing, and now my mom loves it, and so does my sister, so I'd say it starts with my dad. Yeah, I feel like the same way. My dad was a pro player, so in his last years, I was very young, but we would like live in a gym. So then I was like, that's kind of cool, you know? And then my sister is my age. So we saw that we could do it together. Um, and then my mom also played. So it was just like, let's everyone do it. 
and then <laughs> we just loved it and until now that's awesome that's awesome Fanny or Maeve you have anything to add about any of your inspirations about it yeah I mean I would say like similar it was my parents and my older brother like I wanted to do what he was doing and I mean both of my parents played college sports so I just kind of like they really encouraged me to play and I mean I would say those were my inspirations yeah I just feel like sports was just like very natural it just came very natural to me and my uh, best friend we grew up on the same street so we would play soccer together on like our team and it was just like I've always had sports in my life and I think it's because of my family as well like my parents and it's just very natural yeah I think it's always interesting like when you talk like do any of you remember like your first memories of actually watching like a sport being played? Cause I remember as a kid, like I decided when I first played soccer that I had to be number five because Nomar Garcia Parra was number five on the Boston Red Sox. And it wasn't even the same sport, but like we watched the Red Sox when I was a kid. So like I had to be number five, but like, it was such a big thing. Where, where, do you guys have any like memories like that where like you watch sports and you're like, oh, now I need to go try that. And I feel like I just kind of like grew up following the sports my brother was doing like I, I don't remember my first memory of watching like professional sports but it yeah. was like my brother played soccer I want to play soccer then he did basketball then he did lacrosse and then like at one point I was even like mom can I play football because Jack's playing football like, <laughs> no <laughs> so for me like we always went to the my dad went to BC so we'd go to the BC men's mm-hmm. game and the women's and I remember my brother was obsessed with JJ Redick and he was number four. So he always wore number four. And then I wanted to be number four. And it was just kind of going to those games. Like I looked up to those girls a lot and that's kind of, yeah, my motivation. For us. See, that's interesting. Cause like you, I mean, you live in a very central place to college basketball, like Boston, there being many teams there. Like I never had that experience where like you went and saw a college women's basketball game until like my mom, like, when I was growing up the biggest thing was UConn Tennessee and so like that rivalry was big and the reason I got into sport was because of my mother and so we're watching that rivalry and every single time they brought the UConn Tennessee rivalry to Connecticut we would get in the car and we'd go to the game and so like that was my first recollection of actually seeing women play sports Do, do any of you guys know what like your first recollection was of like watching women play sports um for me it's like Anytime our national team was playing, uh, like men's and women's, it was on the TV at, at our house. So like the Olympics or like uh, world championships in any sport really. Like um, we, it would be on the TV and we would watch it. So like watching, I remember like soccer a lot. Um, like women's soccer, when they were playing, we actually went to like, um, games on a road trip when we went to Germany we went and watched them play and stuff so like just like watching the national team uh on tv was a big thing for me I feel like also for me like the Spanish league in women's is super strong but it barely gets support you know so every time that there were games on tv my mom and my dad would put them on to like make sure we knew about it and we knew like what the situation was so um that with the national team games too you know it was probably the first like uh women's games that we started watching when we were like pretty young yeah for me it's same as blanks um i was following the pro league back home a lot um and just watching like the biggest teams play it was like so nice yeah about what like what what you saw like you the first one of the teams you saw um i mean i felt like when i was younger what my first um like what I remember, I watched a lot of UNC women's soccer. Um, and then in terms of basketball, I remember watching a lot of Notre Dame when I was younger, which I don't like know why, but I watched a lot of Notre Dame women's basketball. Mine was BC women's. We'd go to the week games and weekends. And that was like a lot of fun for me. And I remember like they played Maryland and the Christy Tolliver, she's in the WNBA now. And I was, that was the first time I was like really, really impressed with someone in women's sports and she played so well. And it kind of, I mean, I didn't watch a lot of WNBA when I was younger, but that was the first team that I really watched was BC. And then I followed Maryland. 
Christy Tolliver. That's a throwback, Kelly. Kelly's yeah. been a huge college women's basketball fan yeah. her whole life. And I kind of really appreciate that. So anyone watching, start watching other people's games and, and come up with your Christy Tolliver because <laughs> I've, I've had that same experience with Christy Tolliver as well. Um, but what what sport like um, what doors has sports opened for you that's been really like vital in your lives? Um, do you want to start off, Door? Like what characteristics? Um, what like what um, skills have sports built for you that you found important? Yeah, I mean, just playing sports um, provided me so many like good values, like um, work ethic, dedication, accountability, integrity. A lot of like. Uh, very high quality values that I just carry on with my life and I can use it like later on in other careers. Um, so yeah, I think sport, it's really, really important. Guys, women's in sports. I'm dealing with women <laughs> right here. Right now, okay. So anyone watching this, this is my daughter, Skylar. She wants to join the conversation. <laughs> Anyone else? What, what are things that you've learned? I think those are those are all things that I think all of us could say that we've definitely learned through sport as well. Yeah, I would say the biggest thing is work ethic and commitment to something. Like we're all five of us are really passionate about basketball, but our passion for it has led us to be really committed and put all of our work and sacrifice to um, accomplish our goals, I guess. I would also say like, it, especially with basketball, like it's taught you how to work within a team um throughout your whole life and on top of like the values it also has provided like a network of people like not even including college basketball like I think back to like some friends that I still have from when I was playing as a kid like there's some of your friends for the rest of your life um I also think on top of that like it's really cool because most of the things like the values or lessons we learn from basketball everything you can take it outside of the court you know uh for whenever you're gonna have a job or whatever uh, when things don't go right, you know, like you fought things in the court that outside of the court, you're going to be able to do the same thing, even though it's a completely different scenario. Yeah, and like, not only like, I feel like holding yourself accountable as well is uh, something I feel like I've really taken away from uh, playing sports, like uh, sticking to a schedule, even though it might not be the most fun to like have, you know, summer workouts or whatever, like knowing that if I do this, I'm going to be able to be the best that I can be. And I feel like that is something that I'm really like taking away. And like Blanca said, that's something that I'll be able to use my entire life. I think those are all great things. I think one thing that I know about each of you, and so I'm going to share this with the people listening, is that each of you has become very self-aware. And so I don't know if sports had something to do with that, but I think in a, in a lot of ways that we become self-aware because people have critiqued us and we've learned more new things about us. And, and I think it's, it's given each of us that have played sports an, an opportunity to, to learn about these, <laughs> to, to learn these things about ourselves that, and then kind of be retrospective and, and learn like what our strengths, what our weaknesses are and those kind of things. Um, but guys, just for the final questions, do you have any like advice that you would give a young girl um, that's starting to get involved in sports? What advice would you give her? Um, I would just say for any sport that this person who's listening might like or like find what you really love, find what you're really good at, like Court said, like find your strengths and really try to capitalize that, capitalize on them and go after your goals and know that the sacrifices that you make will pay off if you do put in the work. I just feel like what she said, plus just work hard every day, you know, regardless of the circumstances, uh, you might go through like rough moments, but if you keep putting the work and going as hard as you can every single day, uh, maybe it's not like instant gratification, but like in the long term, you know, you're going to get it. So never give up and just chase your, your dreams or whatever your aspirations are definitely find something that you think is fun and like because it's going to make it so much easier uh in the hard times if you love the sport that you're doing it's going to be so much easier and then like um kelly was touching on earlier if you watch sport like watch the sport that you're playing and find like a player that uh you really like their game or something and try to learn from them because there's so many good players in any sport that you want to play that has come before and learning from them, I think is huge too. I mean, for me, it's kind of the same. There are so many different types of sports. Um, so just like find um, the type of sport that you like and you just enjoy playing. 
Um, and if you really like it and you have a dreams, like dreams and goals, just like go pursue them, you know, work hard um, and just have fun with it. Just kind of fun and all that. Like, I mean, I would say whatever sport you choose, give it your all and um, have fun because sports are fun. Yeah, I agree. I, think I would add to this, there's so many different ways to get involved in sports. So we're all talking about playing sports, but there's also... Skylar, Skylar, please stop. <laughs> there's also like you get out if you if you don't want necessarily find yourself athletic and you want to be involved in sports there's there's the abilities like to be a manager or there's abilities to become like a referee of a of a league um especially if you're an older like high school kid and you want to ref like a younger league they're always looking for people to do those kind of things and so sports is is all encompassing and and if you if you get out and ask the questions i'm sure people would love for you to join um, so, so we really thank you for joining us through this conversation and celebrating um, women in sports. And, and we hope that you, you got something out of this today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.